Hello, my name is Fiona Walsh of Empower Presentations. Today, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the presenter view in PowerPoint, which was essentially a dashboard for when you're presenting. So you get to see the notes for your slides. You get to navigate any slide you want to in the deck or while your audience are seeing only the slide you're on. So first of all, I just want to point out where to add notes in PowerPoint. So the notes are normally underneath the slide. However, if you can't see the notes, this section here, notes, will take you to the notes section. If I click there, I can now see the notes for this slide. I can type in, click in there with my mouse and I can type any additional notes that I want to. Next, we're going to go to the slideshow tab. And when I'm on the slideshow tab, I need to make sure that the use presenter view tick box is ticked. I'm going to leave the monitor on primary monitor. PowerPoint will pick up that I want the presenter view on my laptop and I want the slideshow to be on the primary monitor. So the slideshow is going to go onto the second screen that you have connected to your laptop, which is usually going to be a widescreen monitor or an overhead projector, say in a corporate meeting room environment. I can start my slideshow and start from current slide. And this is the primary monitor that we're looking at now. I'm going to swap those settings around. So I now have my slideshow on one screen and my presenter view on the other. If they open up on the wrong screen, we have display settings here and we can swap the presenter view and slideshow around to make sure it's on the right screen. Next to that, we have show taskbar. When we click on that, it will show my taskbar along the bottom and I can then navigate to anything else on my machine, on my PC, while my audience are viewing my slide. Let's hide that now. We also have end slideshow that I'm not going to do yet. So the slide that I'm on here, vendor scorecard, is the slide my audience are seeing. So my audience can see everything within that slide. I can see the time. So at the moment it's five past 12 in the afternoon. So I know what the time is. If I have a specific time to present to, the presenter view will track the time here. So it's been one minute and 15 seconds since I started my slideshow. If you need to pause that time, we can do so. And we can also reset that time and it can start again. That's very handy if you have a specific time frame to present to, like 10 minutes, then you can see if you're on track. So here we have the next slide in the presentation. So we can keep an eye on what's coming next. And we have the notes that I mentioned earlier. Now, these white bars here can move the content around so we can make the next slide bigger. We can make our current slide bigger. So we can change any of those settings to suit and we can keep changing those throughout the presentation. We can change it for a different slide. If there's more content on the slide that we want to be able to read, we can make this one bigger. And then for the next slide, we can, we can change it back again. In the notes section, down at the bottom, we have make the text larger so it's easier for us to read. And then we can make it smaller again if we've got a lot of text on there. And we also have the sidebar here to, to move up and down if we have a lot of text. So for this particular slide, if I get asked any questions on that, I have the details. If somebody asks me, well, what was the price for, for supplier XXX? I can give them those specific details without having all that content on the slide. We can navigate to the next slide by ticking or clicking on the arrows along the bottom. And we also have a series of options here as well. So the first one, if I click on that, I have three options, laser pointer, pen or highlighter. So with the laser pointer, I can highlight something in spe specific here, like maybe it's a supplier XXX that I want to highlight. And remember, everything within this slide area is what my audience are seeing. So again, I can change the laser pointer to a pen. Maybe I want to highlight it's 
this is the recommendation that we go with this supply here. We also have a different option in ink colors. And for the highlighter, we have the same, the different options in highlighter colors. Let's pick, uh, let's pick the green one. I can highlight this section here as the second option. We can also remove all ink on slides and, and get rid of that. The next function here, see all slides, is my favorite. When I click on this, it gives me an overview of all of the slides within my presentation. The slide that my audience are currently seeing is the one highlighted with the orange around the edge. And you'll see the slide number is highlighted too. So let's say we have a scenario where I'm coming to the end of my allocated time for presenting and I haven't had time to cover everything I want to. Well, rather than clicking through all of the slides and saying to people, oh, don't have time to cover that. Instead, we can go to the final slide or the next slide and miss out all of these slides in between. So my audience have gone straight from that slide in the middle of the deck to this slide without seeing any of those slides in between. Really, really handy tool. I'm going to click on it again. I just want to show you that we've also got the zoom in and zoom out buttons. So if we have a lot of slides, we can really come out and see all of those as an overview. Have you ever presented where you've had someone at the end of your presentation say, oh, can you show me that slide at the beginning? Because I wanted to ask a question on it, but I can't quite remember what it looked like. I have. I've also had people going through every single slide in that deck one by one. You don't need to do that with this view. So let's say somebody's asked a question on one of the first few slides here. I can go straight from this slide to this slide without showing any of the slides in between. Brilliant. And I go to this slide for the next example. And here the magnifying glass is zoom. When I click on that, you'll see I've got a section highlighted within the slide. So I can now click on that bit. And this is what my audience are seeing. When I have the hand icon, I can move it around to zoom in on that particular part of the slide. When we click on the magnifying glass again, we will zoom out and go back to the original setting. The next icon is black. So that will make the slide go black and that will bring the audience back to me as a speaker. If I want to get people's attention because we may, may be having a discussion, I can switch that off and make that black. Just click it again to bring it back. Next, we have the subtitles setting. If you have anybody who is hard of hearing, we can pop on those subtitles and then we have a live subtitles of what we're presenting. Under the settings section and subtitle settings, we have the option to, to change where the subtitles are going to appear. We have an overlay top and bottom and below and above the slide. If we use one of the overlays, the subtitles will be over our slide. So perhaps that isn't going to work. Something we need to think about depending on the content of our slides. In addition to using subtitles for anybody who's hard of hearing, we can also use the subtitles to translate. Under the drop down menus for the languages, you'll see we have a whole range of different languages here. I'm going to leave the spoken languages English and I'm going to change the subtitle language. Let's go for French. And now it's going to translate for me into that second language once I click OK. So this is really handy if you've got visitors, perhaps, and their English might not be quite as you would like it. And you can pop those subtitles on to assist them to understand what you're saying when you're presenting. So those are my top tips for using the presenter view. My advice is have a little play around with it, have a little practice, because that really, really helps to have a practice and get yourself familiar with these tools. And then you will be able to present like a pro. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. And if you're watching this on LinkedIn, then please connect. Thank you very much. Bye.